this was such a horrible tragedy that garnered a lot of attention. House Majority Whip James E. Clyburn announced the passage of a bill named after slain University of South Carolina student Samantha Josephson. The 21-year-old USC senior was last seen alive on this street corner in Five Points before she was murdered by a man impersonating her Uber driver in March of 2019. But it garnered so much attention that I think it brought to the forefront the dangers of not paying attention to what vehicle you're getting into. Seth Rose is a state representative for Richland County, which includes the Five Points area. He introduced the Samantha L. Josephson Ride-Sharing Safety Act five days after her murder, and the governor enacted it two months later. The Safety Act requires drivers to display license plates on the front of their vehicle, as well as criminalize those misrepresenting themselves as rideshare drivers. I can say this, and this is something I'm very proud of, and you made note about how quickly this bill was signed into law in South Carolina because here we are years later and you're telling me that the House in Congress just now passed this bill and it still needs to go to the Senate. Sammy's law would require every rideshare company to have a digital program allowing drivers and passengers to identify each other. It would also criminalize the sale of rideshare signage unless authorized by the company. The Department of Transportation would also have to develop an advisory council to seek new performance standards. What I just heard sounds almost identical to what we initially filed, and I know that whoever filed that bill basically just mirrored what already exists. And that was the frustrating part, is it's already being done. The question is, would it be mandated to be done?